Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to find out the support reaction for this cantilever beam. This is a cantilever beam of total length of 8 meter and there is a trapezoidal load acting on this cantilever beam. The magnitude of the load starts from 3 kN per meter and ends on the 6 kN per meter. So we are going to find out the support reactions at this support. So this let's consider this support A. So it is a fixed support. So it can resist the vertical load RA. And it will also take the moment M. So we are going to find out the RA and moment for this cantilever beam. So in order to do this, first we have to find out the total load acting on this beam. This is a trapezoidal load. So we have to convert this load into a pointed load. In order to do this, we have to split this trapezoidal load into two parts. So, one is the rectangle here. This is a rectangle. And this is a triangle. So, this will be the area of the rectangle. And the other will be the area of the triangle. So, this is A1. And this is A2. So, in order to find the area of these two, we will find out the total load acting on this beam. So, first we have to convert these load this load into a pointed load in order to do this we have to find out the area of the rectangle which is base into height so a1 will be equal to the base is 8 meter and height of the rectangle is 3 kilonewton per meter so meter meter will be cancelled so we got the total load in the unit of kilonewton so this is the pointed load on this rectangle now the second A2 will be the area of this triangle, small triangle. So it is half base into height. And half base is 8 meter. And height is now this height. So, so this height, this height is 3 kN per meter. So if we separate this from 6, so we got 3 again here. So it is 3 kN per meter. So this is the height of the triangle. So it is 3 kN per meter. So if we subtract this, so if we multiply and divide this, we got 12 kN. So this is the A2. So we find out the load of each portion. Now let's suppose total area will be equal to the A1 plus A2. So the total load will be equal to the adding these two areas first is 24 and the other is 12 so we got the total area which is equal to the total pointed load or concentrated load equal to the 36 kilonewton so this is the pointed load acting on this beam and it and this load will act at the centroid of this trapezoid 36 kN. Now we also need to find out this centroidal distance from the point A from support A up to the load 36 kN. We also need this distance. So to find out the x bar we can use this formula summation of xi into fi divided by the summation of fi. This formula is used to find out the centroid. So now xi means the centroid of each portion the rectangle and triangle centroid this is a rectangle so its centroid will be half of the 8 its centroid will be here so this is x1 and the triangle centroid will somewhere here so it will be x2 x2 now x1 is really easy because it is a rectangle so half of the rectangle half of the 8 will be the centroid for the rectangle and the centroid of the triangle if this is triangle so we can find out the if this is the length of the triangle so we can find out the the centroid of the triangle by two third of L and this will be the one third of L so this is the way how to find out the centroid for the triangle so from here up to this distance this is x2 and x2 will be equal to the two third of L and L is 8 meter so we got by multiplying and dividing we got 5.33 meter 
So we also find out the centroid for the triangle. Now we can use putting this value into this formula in order to find out the centroid for this trapezoidal load. For this pointed load. So x bar will be equal to the x1 f1 plus x2 into f2 divided by f1 plus f2. So x bar will be equal to x1 is 4 meter multiply f1 is the rectangle 24 plus x2 is the triangle which is 5.33 into f2 which is triangle load which is 12 kN divided by the 24 plus 12 f1 plus f2, f1 is 24, f2 is the 12, which are the loads of each shape, triangle and rectangle. So by adding and dividing this, we got x bar of 4.44 meter. So we also find out this 4.44 meter. Now it's easy to find out the moment and support reactions. So Ra will be equal to the, the total load acting on this beam. The total load acting on this beam is 36 kN, so similarly the Ra will also be equal to 36 kN because this is the only support that can take the load of this beam. So the whole load will be taken by this support, so directly by finding out the load 36 kN, it will be directly the support reaction at support A, so it is 36 kN. Now to find out the moment, so moment will be equal to the, the load 36 kN into the moment arm which is 4.44 so moment comes out to be by multiplying this we got 159.84 kilonewton meter so moment is equal to the 159.84 kilonewton meter so this is the way how to find out the support reactions when there is a trapezoidal load acting on the cantilever beam first you have to divide the trapezoid into two portion and then you have to add the load of each portion and then adding the total load it will be the pointed load and then you have to find out the centroid by using this formula and then you will find out the moment by simply load into moment arm load is 36 and moment arm you find out before so just multiplying these two values we get the moment hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos Thank you for watching our video.